Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a big Monday because Mondays inside of Team of the Season mean upgrade pack days. Today is going to be the day just like last week during Premier League Tots where we got the upgrade SBCs of multiple different varieties that give us the best opportunity of packing some of these Bundesliga Team of the Season cards this week as they are in packs. So I want to take a look at that. You can still prepare because gold rares are dirt cheap. Like there's 650, 700 coins on the market. You can go buy them up super duper easy, fill up your club. Uh, and I think those prices will probably rise throughout the rest of this week. Even though the Bundesliga Tots isn't as hype as Premier League, there's still a lot of hype there and people are going to want to open packs this week. So I want to take a look at that. The other content that we would expect today the 83 times 5 didn't drop yesterday, so I would imagine that it is today. And then, of course, take a look at the Saudi League Tots that they dropped in-game yesterday. Take a look at those cards that are on the market, and one of those being Talisca with an insane upgrade being extinct, which is pretty crazy. And then I also want to take a look at the market for today on Monday as well. We're in a completely different place on the market this week than where we were last week on Monday during Premier League team of the season. So I want to take a look at that and talk through Bundesliga Tots card prices, maybe when to buy some of those like we did last week earlier on in the week. I think the time frame for the Bundesliga Tots cards could be a little bit different. So we'll talk about that as well. But if you're excited for upgrade packs today, make sure to hit the thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's just talk about this right away, right? Because this is the biggest piece of content that's coming today. Everybody's going to be ready to do some of these packs today. Today's going to be the biggest hype for the upgrade packs, right? Monday last week, this is kind of something that we learned last week too. Make sure if you want to do some upgrade packs, you get ready and you do them today on Monday because the pack weight from the player picks and from the regular premium upgrade pack from last week during Premier League was the best by far from what I experienced. People in the chat, um, on the Twitch stream, talking about it in the comments, on Twitter, seeing all the pack pulls last week on Monday, they were so much better than the rest of the week. So if they do drop these same SBCs, the only one that's really in question is the 80 plus like player pick. Last week, we had the 80 plus Premier League player pick alongside of the premium a Premier League upgrade, I would almost 100% guarantee you that we're going to see the Bundesliga premium upgrade pack, which is the 25k pack, 12 Premier, or 12 Bundesliga players, three rare, all gold. I 100% think we'll see that one today. I also think that we will most likely see an 80 plus um, Bundesliga player pick, which is actually going to be kind of cracked, I think, because there's less rares in the Bundesliga than there are in the Premier League. Actually, last week with the Premier League, we had the biggest pool of rares out of all the top five leagues in this game. So the 80 plus Premier League player picks might be really cracked if they drop today. Sorry, I keep saying Premier League because I'm looking at it, but I mean Bundesliga. So if that's the same pack that drops today for Bundesliga, which I hope it is, those might be pretty cracked. And then of course, the best ones for your crafting to get fodder, if you're doing the upgrade pack grind, I, I sincerely think the best way to do it this week is to do the premium upgrade pack, the 25K pack, by going out and buying rares or putting in all the rares from your club into that SBC, then opening that, taking the non-rares, putting it into the player pick, and then using the leftover rares in the player pick as well. Like I said, you can get all rare golds right now still for 650 like this is something i'm gonna probably spend like 10 20 30 minutes doing here pretty soon is just bidding on these gold rare cards sending so many of them into my club maybe even being unassigned just for you know a couple hours today before we get these packs because it'll make it so much easier for you to build upgrade packs if you have those players already purchased when they're dropping today and of course we would expect to see these prices of gold rares go up a little bit throughout this week again like i mentioned i don't think that the bundesliga team of the season has as much hype as the premier league team of the season did but you still have jude bellingham you still have nkunku that are in this team that people will want to at least take a shot at trying to go out and, and packing. And so they're going to open upgrade packs today. People are going to go for it. But that's kind of what we're expecting from an upgrade pack grind today on the game. Hopefully it's the exact same as last week because that grind last week was honestly pretty good. And the pack weight, I think, for Bundesliga cards should be pretty good as well. Last year during Bundesliga Tots, they had a player pick, uh, like an 80-plus player pick, one of three, and it was really, really cracked. So I could see that being the case this week. Uh, with Bundesliga team of the season. Now, also last week, what we had inside of uh, Prem Tots was the Premier League 83 plus times five 
Um, I think that they're going to release that for Bundesliga as well. So another pack to watch your low tier fodder on today. I believe this pack was like an 83 squad or 84 squad. Let me double check. This was an 84 squad with one in form last week when they released this Premier League 83 times 5. I think they're going to do it again for Bundesliga. If you guys remember, a couple weeks before TOTS, they added all of those packs into the code, and it was all the top five leagues had this 83 plus times 5 pack to be released. So watch out for that. I think that could be a very high potential uh, of an SBC that would be dropped today in this game. And that makes me think about fodder a little bit. And we can just cover fodder right now since we're already talking about it. 80, 83s are still about a thousand coins, maybe a little bit less. 84s, 85s, 86s all went up just a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit yesterday, about a thousand coins per card in each of those sections. And I really think it went up because of the 92 plus moments SBC and the Danny DaCosta, Connor Goldson uh, showdowns. You had a little bit of fodder demand with those, especially this DaCosta card, which I think this is a really, really, really good item. I think this is, a, especially if you're doing upgrade packs this week, it's a must do for a Bundesliga uh, side nice German Bundesliga links, really good looking card, potential to upgrade plus one, uh, actually plus two because it's a final, right? For the Europa League final, there's no plus ones here. They wouldn't draw. Um, I think it would be whoever wins the final is going to, of course, um, get that plus two upgrade. So I think that caused fodder to go up a little bit yesterday. I don't think this Carlos Jr. really did too much uh, as our Saudi League SBC player. And then the 92 plus moments upgrade, you see 91% downvote. They just copy pasted and, and put out the exact same SBC. We had our hopes set for an Icon Moments player pick yesterday, and EA Sports said, nope, you're going to have to hold that. We're going to just re-release the same SBC that we had out the week before. So we are going to be left one more week waiting for that Icon Moments player pick um, SBC. But the only good thing about this one is if you're opening upgrade packs this week, you can do it twice, whether you're trying to craft this uh, or craft a lot of other SBCs, which there are a lot of SBCs available right now. Modest, David Sell. Player of the Month, Cristiano Ronaldo. Kulusevski is still alive for a couple days. Phil Foden still alive for a little bit. Deli Ali is still alive. So there's plenty of SBCs available to craft right now if you're going to be opening packs, uh, upgrade packs this week during Bundesliga. But just a little bit more about Goldson and the Costa. I think the Costa is going to be like the, the FIFA favorite for this game for the Europa League final. Four star week for three star skills. Um, just with the boost that he got and the card that this has, just imagine a plus two on this. Uh, in my opinion, that's on par, maybe even slightly better than Frimpong. I know Frimpong has the 99 pace, of course, um, but the Costa has better links, arguably, having that German nationality in the Bundesliga. Now, because of the Costa's hype, that SBC definitely dropped off the price of Frimpong. He went from 54k down to 39. He's back up just a smidge. Um, but I know that is a really big, that really dropped off this guy's price. I still think this, this right back Frimpong is a very, very good card. And he does, again, have that strong link to Diaby, who's such a popular card right now on this game uh, and, on, and on this market. A lot of people want to try out this Diaby card. So yes, the cost is sick. Also, Goldson, if uh, Rangers were to win, this would be a pretty good card as well. He'd go to a 90 pace uh, English center back. Pretty solid card. Medium high work rate. Six foot three. High and average body type. But I don't think he just carries enough hype uh, over the DaCosta card. Because DaCosta is definitely the king here in this showdown scenario from yesterday. Now, let's talk some of these cards that were released on the game. E uh, not EFL. Saudi Tots that were released yesterday. EA did the business. With this Romarino, I remember looking at the league stats for Romarino. He had 90 dribbling yesterday. And I was like, nah, man, that's not good enough. EA went all out. 95 dribbling with 99 agility, 99 balance, 99 heading accuracy, 99 stamina. This card looks unbelievable. It looks cracked. 380,000 coins. He was down to like 315 at his absolute lowest. After a couple hours of lightning rounds, popped back up to 400 where he's kind of been chilling at. These cards are really, really rare. These Saudi League Tots cards. Romarino is going to end up being a lot cheaper than this. They're going to be in packs next Friday when La Liga is out, and they're going to get spammed with supply. So they're pretty expensive right now. This is going to be the most expensive that they will be for the whole entire week. Um, but some of these cards, particularly just two or three of them, look really good. And one of them is even extinct right now. Anderson Taliska, because EA gave him the ultimate boost, a five-star skill move boost. Now, this card, I mean, I'm trying to compare this to an item on, on FIFA. Like, what kind of card is comparable to Anderson Taliska? I would say Zlatan Ibrahimovic. 
He, I bet he would feel like a Zlatan Ibrahimovic as a taller player with five-star skills, but he's got the high and lean body type, so he's also fast and agile with 99 agility and 86 balance. This card, I mean, it's extinct right now at 850,000 coins. He is extremely rare. I do not think this card is worth 850k, but I think this card has the potential to be absolutely incredible in FIFA. So, um, in, again, this card looks, honestly, it looks really sick. And like I was mentioning in yesterday's video, the ones to watch Talisca was so good for so many people. The Brazilian links. Uh, and just the day one rarity, that's what's keeping this card at 850k, especially with that five-star skill upgrade. So I think that will drop later on throughout the week. Um, so now we have two cards that are extinct right now on the market. We have Taliska and Nkunku. Surprising that, I mean, still, I'm sitting here just dumbfounded that EA has not upgraded the Nkunku price range. Um, this one to me is just kind of wild. So I don't know what's going to happen with this one. I'm going to keep watching it. Um, do I still have a little bit of hope that it could be worth more than 1.5 mil? I think I do just because there's so much hype for him. Um, but I think for Taliska, I, I think we can all agree that this Taliska card, it should really not be 850k. I know that it's really good, but I think this is just day one rarity making that card so expensive. Um, and then if he does end up being like stupid cracked in game, okay, then maybe uh, we get a price range update pretty soon and, and he stays pretty expensive. But I think that as you get towards the end of next week, you would see his card price drop down a lot. I also think this Romarino is very good as well. But I think that he would end up dropping down closer to like the, the lower 300k range, maybe even to the 200s uh, later on this week as people fear and expect more supply coming in later on in the weekends. Again, that's the biggest reminder with all of these Saudi League Tots cards is they're just, they're just super rare at the moment right now. Now, speaking about Bundesliga cards um, in terms of team of the season items, EA has been dropping some more of those crazy lightning rounds. And some of these cards are down a little bit from where they were. Diaby was actually down at the low 120s. He was kind of on snipe. Uh, this was like, you know, the midnight-ish time frame in the UK. Just kind of using that general time frame, time zone. Like around midnight UK, Sunday night, as we head into Monday. So like, what was that? What would that be like, you know, six, seven, eight hours ago? Uh, this guy was around about 120,000 coins. I did buy a couple in the low 120. He's, he's back up a little bit. I do think that some of these cards today have potential to rise up. We often see it on Mondays. Um, people seem to finish their weekend leagues on a normal schedule, even though the weekend league is not ending until Wednesday morning. Uh, but they still finish their weekend league on a normal schedule. They wake up on a Monday, they go out and they buy some cards to try out. So just kind of keeping an eye on some of these um, team of the season cards, like I did mention, I bought a couple of those Diabetes. I think you'll see a few cards rise up today. I bought some Alfonso Davies at uh, two, 242, kind of like the low 240s, and he, he is now approaching like 260. So, you know, keep an eye on these cards. I think they could rise up a little bit today. We don't have any crazy, insane, like leaked content or, or anything nuts supposed to be coming out today on Monday besides the upgrade packs. And uh, I, I think that we should see a decent rise on some of these team of the season cards here today on Monday as we head into the day a little bit more. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. Now, speaking of the rest of the market, um, there is a lot of people right now that are really starting to invest in the cards um, for La Liga out of pack specials investing. And I think that there is a lot of good reason to be buying some of these cards. I'm going to, I'm going to scroll through a couple of them right now that maybe you guys are looking at. And a lot of people are talking about this stuff. Um, but a lot of people have put a lot of coins into these cards. And also that means these cards are rising and that people are uh, investing a lot more than last week because they saw the profits that people made on like Hinka pay and on the Serge Gnabry team this season card. Well, yes, I do think some of these La Liga out of pack specials are still decent investments. Um, a lot of these cards I do think have, have potential to rise a little bit as we get towards Friday. The one thing I'll say is I really think that these cards rises this week um, are going to be a little bit less than last week because there's so many more investors. So you might see a little bit, uh, you, you'll still see profit on these cards, I think, if you get in at the right price and you get in early enough. I'm just a little bit worried because I think that, um, you know, if EA does drop something unexpected, you've got a lot of people that are invested in these and then that could create some panic selling and some crazy market movements. I'm going to pick up a Fakir at 150. That's not really that great of a price. But again, this is like a card that you would expect to go up before team of the season uh, La Liga is, is coming out. So 
that's the kind of stuff that you could be looking at right now in this game. Like Berchiche on Saturday night was 28,000 coins, as I just looked at him. And right now he's like 33, 34,000 coins. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of the stuff that I'd be watching out for. I do think that some of these cards are viable, although I would just say be very careful because um, I'm just clicking through some random sp specials from la liga but you know just be very careful because there's a lot of people investing in these i mean i was even looking at um militao let's see if i can find militao here really fast and show you guys this and maybe it's going to show me uh but there was like uh somebody had invested in like 40 or 50 militaos and they had them all listed up at the same time when i was going through the compare price like all of them were just listed up at the exact same time minute with like all these crazy prices like somebody was listing 30 or 40 militaos at one time so if you're mass investing this is just a this is just a trading tip honestly if you're ever mass investing unless it's in fodder fodder you can invest and sell like a bunch of cards at the same time but if you're ever going to do that with cards from like special cards out of packs that are meant to be a little bit more rare i would just say be very very careful about listing them all at the same time that usually does not work out very well because you end up flooding the market people undercut you and it just creates like a false sense of supply i don't like buying cards when i see that there's pages upon pages of them listed up and they're all second owner right no games played in that far right current cl uh, club column because that tells me that it's an investor and when i see like a bunch of cards listed up then i'm like okay there's a lot of investors here so um, especially if it's a card that I think might be overinvested already. That's something that I don't like to see. Just a little bit of a market tip there. So that's, uh, I did notice that with Militao. Um, you know, if I, if I saw Militao like 200K flat, would I buy him? Yeah, I'd probably buy him because I could sell him right now at like two, 218, 220. So I could be able to profit off that right away. But I'm just going to be very careful with investing in some of these cards. I have picked up a couple, not that many though. Uh, just, just do a little bit of research, right? Click through some of what are the, the, the most popular cards uh, this year, whether they're getting a team of the season or whether they're not getting a team of the season. Uh, some of these cards are, you know, still going to rise up during that La Liga week of hype, like Vinny headliners, his, this Vinny team of the season, I think is going to be like, four million coins especially if they give him five star five star so all of Vinny's other special cards like a good example to think about was salah right salah got the four star weak foot upgrade so he was four four and uh all of his other special cards exploded because people wanted to use salah inside of premier league tots so keep an eye on this Vinny card um i actually haven't done a ton of research on him 726 let's just go over to flipping right now and take a look at a vinicius jr headliner card 726 where was he he was he was, oh my goodness, 590 at the absolute peak of the panic. Last week on Tuesday, everything just got disgracefully low, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, and then he started going up during the weekend as the market kind of cooled off and as a lot more coins came out. I mean, to be fair, he was 717 in his lowest, 760. He's been 750 each day at the peak. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out here right now and I'm going to add that 726 to my transfer targets. And maybe we can snag. There's another one. Ooh, a 715 bid. So it looks like people might be finishing some of their weekend leagues right now and listing these up. Um, so this is just a, this is an example of one card that I'm going to keep an eye on. I'm going to be pretty stingy with the price. If I can get like a 710, I'll be pretty happy with it. Um, and then maybe we can sell this for like higher 700 later on this week. So depending on how many coins you have, you know, that can be where do you kind of look. Uh, on the market for investing in some of these out of pack special cards. Renan Lodi is another one. Uh, is a Brazilian left back, right? Of course, he's going to be a card that would be very, very nice to have to link together. Uh, maybe people that are on a lower budget that need a left back link because they're using Vinny Jr. or they're just using uh, a La Liga card later on this week. I was I was hoping to get this dude at like. I don't know. On Saturday, he was in the low. Okay, 55K. Yesterday, he was 55K. Like, I was hoping to get this in the low 50s if I was going to buy a couple of these Ren and Lodis, which right now he's a 58. So maybe I'll try to snag a bid or two at like low 50s or something like that. And then that's the kind of stuff that I'd be looking for. But I think you would see a decent amount of a market rise today on some of these cards as well. Um, and that could be something that you, you, you know you see on Mondays normally, right? So maybe you look through some of the Tots Premier League cards like um virgil van dyke is 650 right now at the moment and that's down actually a decent amount he's pretty rare 
So could could he go back to 700K today? I think it's pretty possible. You see a couple overnights at 690. This could be the stuff that you know most people aren't looking at because they're thinking about investing for the next tots or investing for this or that. Ruben Diaz tots is down a decent amount right now. Some of these uh, you know popular cards that are still uh, a lot of people are using in inside of the game. Um, you know, as you see some weekend league sell off on a Sunday night. Keep a look at these cards because I think the the market this week is going to be pretty healthy because we have a week of team of the season that isn't the most insane. So I think you'll be able to trade a decent amount. And I mean, going back to these Bundesliga cards one more time, because I know you guys are interested in buying them. Um, I really think that I would hold off on buying these cards. There's a lot of hype for La Liga. There's a, there's a ton of hype for La Liga. Let me be completely honest with you. Um, I, I think there's like more, if, if we're going on a, like a tiered list of how much hype for the team of the seasons, I think we got Premier League number one. I think we have La Liga number two and then Bundesliga is below. I mean, seriously guys, at least for right now, League One is going to have a lot of hype. And I, I know you guys are like, Nate, don't forget about League One. I'm not, but I think that La Liga has so much hype this year because of Vinny, Benzema, and all the other, especially with the voting, we got to see the cards that were in the vote and we know how that team of the season could actually uh, play out. So just be careful with these with these Bundesliga cards because I think that La Liga is going to be super duper duper hype. And I think that these cards will probably end up dropping off as we get towards the weekend and as the La Liga leaks start to come in, start to kind of arrive and stuff like that. So just uh, just be very careful with those. If you're investing on a Bundesliga card, uh, these guys are they're pretty cheap. And I'm curious to see how the upgrade packs, if the if the upgrade packs, they are insane. If you guys remember last Monday, a lot of the lower tier cards got hit in price because everybody was packing them from the upgrade packs and everybody went out to spam them. So guys like Diaby, Neuer, Schlotterbeck, Frimpong, Kostic, Rom, maybe even Muller. Just keep, keep a close eye on those lower to mid-tier ones if they drop a little bit today on Monday because so many people are packing them untradeable from upgrade packs. So just something to kind of keep an, out, an eye out for. Uh, and hopefully the, the SBC content this week continues to turn up as well because the SBC yesterday was just average, I think. It wasn't anything super duper special. Uh, we had that center attack in mid that we looked at in yesterday's video, the cam. I think it's from Augsburg, the Brazilian center attacking mid. So hopefully EA do some nice business with the SBCs because so far, the Costa is the best one that we've gotten, I think. Modest is cool, but usability wise, it's definitely the Costa being the best one. And that's not even a TOTS card. So that's gonna be the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below what card that you wanna pack from upgrade packs today and during this week with Bundesliga TOTS. And of course, subscribe if you're new. All right, lads, it's been Nate's Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.